morning, guys. So I'm in Robbinsville, North Carolina, and I finished the Cherahola Skyway yesterday, and pretty much just found the next, like, biggest place, I guess, um, to stay. And it's about seven o'clock in the morning now. Yeah, seven sixteen. So technically, six o'clock where we live. But it rained hard last night, so I gotta wipe this baby down and then uh, pack things up. I'm gonna get on the road to do part of 129, Tale of the Dragon. So yeah, let's get on the road because the longer I wait, the more people are gonna be at the dragon and I don't want that. <laughs> so I sat down and that's literally like a sponge. <laughs> I'm gonna have some very fantastic wet marks on my jeans today. It's gonna look like I peed myself probably. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's get on the road. Holy poop, guys. <laughs> I'm a little freaking myself out, but I should be fine. Here we go. We're going on the dragon. And okay. You can tell I'm flustered. I can do this. I can do this. It's not that bad. It's just a little wet. <laughs> right? Just a little wet. Okay, let's go. Do I stay in second gear? Probably. Nice and easy. Like a slow turtle getting rained on on a big bike. Motorcycles. High crash area next 11 miles. Very comforting. Thank you. Oh, what have I got myself into? Hey, I'm in Tennessee. Should I count the turns? There's 318 of them. And this car is not gonna like being behind me. I think it's that same guy from before. <laughs> okay. This is gonna take me probably about two hours to complete when some people go so fast. $3,000 fine for littering? Oh, shoot. That sucks. Sorry, I thought I could do my visor down, but I can't. But I'm only going like 15 miles an hour, so you should be able to still hear me and not be a lot of wind noise, right? Plus you can hear the bike and me revving it. Ever so slightly. Oh, hey. <laughs> there are people here. Sweet. It makes me wonder just how fast some of those bikes were actually going to crash. Maybe I haven't gotten to that point of the route yet, but how in the world could you do that? I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, I got another car behind me. Oh wait, it's the kill boy car. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. That's what I feel like I'm doing in the rain. And all these curves. <laughs> To get some pictures on me, on the dragon, on a beggar. Oh, yes. Can't get any better than that, right? Unless I was on a sport bike, but I've never been on a sport bike before. Maybe that is my next adventure. I feel like I'm in a marathon race. Here's some bikes. get some credit for doing this, right? Smile and wait for the camera. I wonder if they pick out their spots of where they can photograph based off of like the turn and the angle or if it's like wherever they're allowed to pull off and shoot. I don't know. Oh, but this makes my heart so happy that I'm actually doing this. It's so freaking awesome. I get another gold sticker for today, right? 30 miles an hour. I'm going 20, <laughs> maybe 25. Scenic overlook, one mile. Count me in. Mm. Yeah, no. Now go down. That's way better. Stay. Sit. Be a good girl. <laughs> Scenic overlook was fun. It's a long ways up. A lot of stickers everywhere too. Like everywhere you look. Over there. <laughs> I feel like I need my own stickers. Ready, set, go. guys are probably wondering like what the hell is this chick doing on a bagger on the dragon you know what That's exactly what I'm doing eat that or they're giving me credit which I will gladly accept I think mine besides the trike over there was probably the largest bike there Mile nine. Oh, <laughs> like every mile marker just makes it feel so short. I was <laughs> before I started. I was like, this is gonna be the longest 11 miles of my life. How the heck am I gonna survive this? Nine miles in, I was like, let's just make it another 20 miles, right? Somebody said at the hotel this morning that there were tire tracks that just led straight off. And like down the down the side. I was like seriously? It's probably washed away now. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen it or it's just too dark with the rain to be able to notice it. But that's insane if that's the case. Look how fast are you freaking going, guys? Girls. Whoever. I don't know. <laughs> This is where my mother instincts come out and be like, <laughs> you be careful. You have fun, but you be careful. Sorry guys. <laughs> it's instilled in me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, quit playing, Winnie. I am probably one of the lamest dragon riders. <laughs> today on YouTube but you know what this is my first experience doing it 
and I'm going to take it as cautiously as possible. Because this is not my bike. Thank you, Ego Rider, for helping me with this rental for the weekend. So that makes it all the more and more nerve wracking to take a bike you're unfamiliar with on a road you definitely are not on, not familiar with and decide, you know what? Let's go ride it in the rain on a Sunday morning. Totally, totally fine. Okay. <gasps> 11 miles. Does this mean I'm done? Mile. So I just finished the dragon. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, just a note, on the north side, when you start the dragon, there really isn't anything there. I started at Deal's Gap at the bottom, and I should have, like, went to go into, like, the general store to get, like, I rode the dragon. Got nothing. So, I'm not sure where to find it. But this is the foothills. I'm on Happy Valley Road. I'm going to go up to maybe the Smoky Mountain Harley Davidson. If it's open, it should be open, right? Um, in the rain. Again. Um, just go up that direction. Just because it's 9 o'clock right now. I've got some time. And then I'm going to do the rest of the Foothills Parkway up to Pigeon Forge. So. I did it. I'm alive. Really wasn't that bad. I only went like 20 miles an hour. So. <laughs> Not a lot of lean angle. But it was still a blast. She did good. Getting another shower for today.